So I have created my JavaScript file. As you can see, it's called main.js. And I'm going to bring it in here. So um, source, we're going to say um, main.js. OK, so let me just close this out. So this, let me say console.log. Um, yeah. Save and then refresh. Let's see what that has. Yeah. Is it working? Yeah, works. OK, so now I'm going to bring in the uncompleted section. I'm going to bring in the add input. And then I'm going to bring in the um, add button. So const uncompleted section equals to document dot get element by class name. And then I will say uncompleted section. Okay, um, bring in the add input equals to document get element by ID, and then we say adding input. So, okay, let's duplicate this. Then this would be add button. Yep. Then this should be adding BTN. Okay. And um, before we add like an event listener to the add button, let's create like a dummy to do. Uh -huh. and then from there would proceed. So all I'm going to say is, um, hmm. so we'll just say, no, let's, all to do's equal to so we're going to say um we'll say id we'll do this 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 and then we'll say text and then we'll just say mountain kind then is it completed? Now we say false. Okay. okay. So, with this in mind, we're going to have something that would render this on screen. Something that would just render this on screen. And I'm going to say, I'm going to create a function. Say render all to do's. This will be particularly useful. This render all to do will be particularly useful if you, let's say, store what your to do's in a local storage. And so that when you refresh the um, app or you refresh the page, it doesn't go off. So this render all to do's would be good for that to render anything you stored previously. Okay, so, so for renders to do, I'm going to say uncompleted section. I'm going to say dot inner HTML equals to, the, that's going to make it an empty. Oh. Okay, maybe I should also bring in the completed section. This one is going to be completed section. Then completed section dot in a HTML equals to yeah an empty screen. Then we're going to see all to do's dot for each then we'll say const um, let me just do this and say item. So ID, then text, and then is completed. All right, then const single to do. 
So then we're going to have we're going to have a single to do creator. So what this function is going to do is create all like create the single to do for us. I know normally I'm supposed to use like a class for this, but just to keep things simple, I'm just going to use a normal function. But if you know you want me to use a class, please just tell me in the comment section and I will create another tutorial creating a to do creator with a class instead of just using a normal function. Okay, so um, so I'm just going to type single to do creator. We haven't created our function yet, but we're going to create it in a moment. And then we say ID. Right. Okay, so now let's create that um, function called single to do creator. And then we say function, the single to do creator. We say to do value here. Oops. And then the identifier. Mm -hmm. So we're going to say const to do box is equals to normally I would say document dot create um, element, but I would let me use another function to specifically for just creating elements rather than me having to type it out all the time. So let me just quickly create that function. So I'm going to say function. I'm going to call this element creator. So this is going to be the tag, the ID, like normal ID, like um, this ID. Yeah. And then I'm going to say value. And so const element is equal to document dot create element. Oops. Okay, create element. Then the tag. And then if there is an ID, then element dot ID is equal to that ID. And if there is a value, then element dot inner text equal to value then we're going to return that element right okay so back to single to do creator we're going to say element creator and then we're going to say a div and then we'll say single to do So um, then we save. Before we proceed, I want to add something to the HTML. So in this single to do, remember we want it to be draggable, but if you see, if I try to drag it, it, to, it doesn't really have that drag effect that we're looking for. So what we'll say is just, we'll say draggable true. So if we refresh, you see now, see it has that draggable, <clears throat> it has that draggable effect. Okay. So back to the single to do creator. We're well, now going to say this to do box dot draggable. Draggable is equal to true. Right. But then we would say to do box dot set attribute. So I want to give it an attribute and I'm going to say data iden. So this stands for instead of identifier or something like that. So I'm going to use this identifier to track this particular to do. Yeah. Then we'll say to do box 
not add event list now. Let's not even add an event list now yet. So let's just return it to the box for now. Then we will proceed with what we have. Okay, so let's go back to render all to do's. Then in our render all to do's, so if it's not completed, if it's completed, it's false, we're going to put it into the uncompleted section. So that's going to be up uncompleted section dot append child then single to do right else it's going to be in the completed section so completed section dot append child single to do so i'm just going to call this outside and let's see what we have so it, this would clear these and it would just replace it with just, I'm expecting to see just an empty box. Okay, yes. So we just have an empty box here. So which is what we're aiming for. So if we, let's say we duplicate this and then we say we give this to be true. Let's just change this to and we refresh this is in the completed side fantastic all right so with that let's head back to the single to do creator and fleshing out this yeah so let's add more things to it all right so we're going to see to do box that add event listener um uh, let's not let's leave this for now uh, okay so with that we'll just say const completed box is equals to element creator so we're going to say this is a div uh, giving it a id called completed box okay, so to do box dot append child so we want to append this completed box into this to do. That will say completed box. All right. Then const to do text is equal to element creator. That will say P. We want this to be a paragraph tag. And then here is nothing, so it's going to be null. And then to do value, which is this to do value, right? Now I'm going to say completed box dot append child. So we want this to do text to be inside the completed box uh, because if you come here, you can see. Um, so you can see this is inside the completed box. So to do text, and then we'll say const single delete. Or maybe we should even see what that looks like so far. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, works. So single delete equals to element creator, and this time it's going to be a button. And then we're going to give it an ID of single delete. And then we're going to give the text that's going to be inside is going to be delete. All right. Then this single delete, it'll have an event list now, but we haven't created it yet. So let's, let me just, um, let me just, append it into completed box. So completed box that um, append child that we say single delete. All right, then we're going to bring in the completed seal. This completed seal is equal to element creator. I'm going to make it a div and this is going to have an idea of completed seal. 
So that's going to be to do box dot append child completed seal. And now we're going to create the seal delete button. So that is this one. Yeah, this one. So seal delete no, delete tn equals to element creator. We want this to be a button. It's going to have an ID of seal delete. And then it's going to have delete. Yep. All right. So seal delete button dot no. Let's put it into the um completed seal. So completed seal dot append child. Then we have seal delete button. Okay. So let's refresh. Hmm. Okay, something is wrong. There's supposed to be an edit button there. Um, let's see. Oh, I didn't put the edit button. <laughs> My bad. So directly above this single delete, let's bring in. So I could call this single edit. That's going to be element creator. All right, that's going to also be button. And then we're going to say the it's going to be the ID is going to be single edit. And then it's going to be edit. Sorry. So we're going to say completed box dot append child. That's going to be single edit. Save. Let's refresh. Okay, now we have our edit button there. Fantastic. Okay, now since we have everything that we need, let's um, head back to. Hmm. So let's head back to the add input and then. We would come back to this single to do creator much later. So now let's just add something into this um, sections. Okay, so um, I'm going to remove this. The refresh should be. Um, okay, let's remove this. That nothing is inside. Or oh, let's just comment it out. Variably. Okay, so now nothing is inside. All right. Okay, so back to the top, we're going to say add input um, dot add event listener. Then on click. Then what we want to do is we want to say add new to do. There's going to be a function we're going to create. Add new to do. So let me copy this. Let's just go down here and say add new to do. The function add new to do. So I'm going to say um, const random identifier. So the ID that we want to put here. So random identifier is equal to math oops, dot floor. And then we're going to say math dot random multiplied by, let's just say, 1 million. By 1 million, yes, by 1 million, dot to string. All right. Then we're going to like have a template. So const template. So is this template, like when I mean template, I mean 
this as a template. So let me just copy this. So instead of this, we're going to have random identifier here. Then here would be the add input dot value. And then here is going to be false. It's going to be false. So all to do's dot push. No, not pop push. I'm going to push the template into our to do's. And then const. I'm going to say single to do. Equal to. We're now calling this single to do creator. Then it's going to be add input the value, then the random identifier. So if you come back, you see the this is the to do, then this is the identifier. And then in your completed section, we are now going to append it. So append child. And then we append single to do. Then what we want to do is we want to clear the input. So the value is equals to this. So once we we hit this, this should become empty. Where's the text? And then let's see what we have. So let's say, oops, that, that. oh, sorry. <laughs> this should be add BTN, my bad. Okay, refresh. So we're going to say, let's see, go hiking. Hiking. So add. The same something is broken. Add event list now. No. Oh, sorry, I missed a G there. So let's refresh. Okay. Uh, let's say go hiking. Oops, that means in the CSS too. Let me go back. Okay, this is G. Refresh. All right. Go hiking. Add. So now we have if we have our go hiking right so let's try to delete before we get to our drag and drop let's try to delete it so when we hit delete something should happen so this would take us back to our single to do creator our single to do creator so in our single to do creator um i get to see this single delete should have we should add we'll add an event listener to it so single delete dot add event listener and then on click then we'll say in, initiate uh i mm, no. that let's just say delete single to do yeah, this looks more like it So let's create this function. So the first thing we want to do is we want to search for the identifier in the to-do list. So like here, like we want to search for this identifier first. So let's just let me just put a comment there. So search for the 
const parent identifier identifier is equal to so we're going to create an a function that is going to be specifically um targeted to creating an identifier so we're just going to say um, get identifier then we'll just say e We'll pass so this would have e2. So let's just create this function. So get identifier, bring in e. So I can say const single edit is equal to e dot current target. And const the parent. So the parent of this particular um, button or the grandparent in this situation is going to be the grandparent. So we're going to say single edit dot parent element dot parent element. So what we're saying is when we hit the delete button which is this one we are first going to target the parent element which is this complete completed box then we'll move to the grandparent which is the single to do so that's what is happening so um okay maybe i let's let me just quickly show you what i'm saying uh if we do console.log let's see this and let's open this very fresh and I'll say jog sorry then if I say um, delete you can see now we have completed box but we want the this other one so it's this single to do not the completed box we want so that's why we're, we're saying dot parent element again so if we refresh that and we say jog again and then See, delete so you can see now we have this single to do yeah okay so let's um, say const parent identifier is equals to the parent dot data set dot idem so where this is coming from is coming from here when we set this attribute so yeah so we are now bring we're now getting that attribute we set up there so we'll now say return parent identifier so with this if we console.log let's just console.log the parent identifier and let's see what we have so if i refresh and um, let's put jog again add console delete so now we have this fantastic okay so um okay after getting the identifier the next thing we want to do is we want to get the index of the to do so that so we're going to say found index is equal to then we're going to create another function for just that. So I'm going to, um, let me just say, search for the to do index. I know this looks very long, but it's self explanatory function. This. So here we're going to say identifier. And const to do index is equals to all to do to find index item. 
So we're going to say item if the item dot id is equal to the identifier, then that's what we're looking for. So we're just going to return that to the index. All right. Mm. So now let's delete the this when we hit this let's delete this um element from the DOM. So I just can say delete the single to do from DOM. So we're gonna say const the delete button. I'm gonna say e dot current target. So const present element is equals to the delete button dot parent element dot parent element. So I'm, I'm, of course, I'm aiming for this single to do. Then I'm going to say const is completed all to do's then the found index that is completed. So I want to get the property of the is completed, whether it is true or false. So if is completed is true, so in the completed section, I'm going to remove that element. So that's uh, remove child, sorry. Remove child, so that's going to be present element. And then else, that means I want to remove it from the uncompleted section. Remove child, and of course, I see present, not parent. But oh, why did I call it parent element? This is present element. Okay. So if we refresh, let's try that. So say jog, add, delete. So it takes it out of the DOM. But apart from taking it out of the DOM, so now let's add something else. Let's just say hot. And if we add, and let's say uh, delete and say joy. Yeah, good. So what we also want to do is we want to remove what we deleted from the data that is from here. So what we'll do is we'll just say delete from data. So we're going to say all to do's dot splice. And the found index and then one. All right, so that would delete it from the data. Hey, so, so far, whenever we type, let's say this, if we hit the enter button, it doesn't add. So what I want to do is when I hit the enter button, I want it to be added. And so that's gonna be kind, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. So we're going to go to the top and then we're going to say add input dot add event listener. I'm going to say key down. And then we're going to say check key type. So we are now going to create the function for the get type. So let's just bring it, where should we bring it? Let's bring it here. Let's say function this. And then we'll put this as E. 
Let's say if e dot key is equal to enter. So e dot key. So whenever you hit your keyboard, the e dot key would tally with um, what you are typing. So for example, if you hit G, you would see G. So in our case, when we hit enter, I'm checking if the e dot key is equal to enter. So if I hit enter, then I want to call the add new to do. Simple. So refresh. I say jog and I say enter. It works the same way. This brings us to editing or the edit button. And we're going to be working on that next. So see you in that one.